I think we are live, what have ladies you been and drinking? gentlemen. What's that? What have you been drinking? <laughs> it's what I'm going to be drinking. I haven't been drinking anything yet. That's the issue. Okay. So we, I, mean, I don't know if anyone's out there yet. Um, if you are, we'll be teeing off in about one minute. So well, we're no just momento. getting all the things in the right position. Grace, are you ready for cleared for takeoff? Yes, I'm cleared for takeoff. Um, don't we have a 30-second countdown timer? You want to do it today, baby? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'd say it's close enough to go ahead and start that counter. All righty. Come on down. To the other side. Did you start it? I didn't start the counter. Yeah, come on. I'm, I'm asking you to. I'm begging, darling. Start the counter. I can't start the counter. Why? You don't know how? No, I don't know how. Oh, okay. I'm just Hold here. on. I'm I just... think it's one of the banners, is it not? On the counter? No, I don't think so. Um, where is the countdown timer? It's not on the banner button, I don't think. Oh, there it is. Are we ready, Grace? We are ready. Okay, we are cleared for takeoff as we always start off. Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Grace. And we're California, California Travel, Travel videos. videos. And welcome to another show on Friday afternoon, 2 o'clock Pacific time, 5 p.m. If you're on the Eastern time and wherever you are at, welcome to our show. Welcome. What are we talking about today, Michael? Today we are talking about, um, well, we've been, a, a very good question. We started off with, um, Grace says, let's call this hacks. And I thought, I don't know. I think a lot of people are not sure hacks, hackers, you, you got, know. you got to go back on that story. Okay, and we will. Okay. So um, I, I want it to be tips and tricks. And um, then we kind of looking around, you know, what do people search for in mods or modifications? Anything else, Grace? Well, what it was is I actually had fallen asleep. I woke up in the RV oh, that. We're gonna at go all... about 11 p.m. And I just had on my brain hacks because Michael had asked me before we went to bed, what should this show be about? And I woke up thinking hacks and that and then I was thinking of all these different keywords and that one kept popping in. And so I woke Michael up and I said, I know what our show should be about. It should be about hacks. And he said. Oh, the younger generation might understand that, but the old people, they're going to think that their email got hacked. I think I maybe said at that point in time, Grace, let's go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think in the morning we had that part of the conversation, but um, I will say, you know, if you have any pets, you'll relate to this. Sometimes your pets are, they're pensive. They're just kind of watching and waiting and they're are, kind of like are you calling me your pet no no um. i'm saying but they're twiddling their thumbs and i think grace is she was waiting for me in bed just to stir just a last little bit you know you kind of when you're first out and you kind of you're taking another position you're not awake and she is like hey yo michael <laughs> so are you anyway. awake <laughs> yeah or am i awake i am now <laughs> So anyway, I guess, yeah, we're going to be talking about um, some of ours, but we would like to hear about yours also. So if you've got some tips, tricks, traps, hacks, modifications, DIY, wow, it's a pretty big genre, isn't it, of things to talk about. And what the heck is that? Someone's trying to come in. No, we are in showtime. So um, Grace, are we ready to get started? Did you put your phone on mute, Michael? Oh, that. Why don't you talk a little bit, and I'll go ahead and be muting. Well, I'm not the tip and trickster. You're the research man. But I, I have a few hacks that are kind of cool that we've done along the way. Um, one of them is I learned from the escapers down in Quartzside a couple years back how to conserve water, and that's by using vinegar to watch, wash your dishes. Mm. I think it's a one to three solution you put in a sprayer. And you just kind of spray them and wipe them with the paper towel, and they are ready to go. That is awesome. And I didn't even think about that one. So, yeah, I guess that if you're going to be boondocking, dispersed, camping, 
stealthy and whatever for a while and you want to preserve your water is that rather than run a lot for doing your dishes and i guess you can just use it for general cleaning around the countertops and things can't you grace definitely hi van vita travels welcome happy to have you here hey paula welcome and good luck with your um Awesome show there. Yeah. Paul is doing such a wonderful job with her interviews. You know, if we um, brush our teeth, you know, Grace, um, we dress up nicely, we, you know, we're clean language and use a little bit of, eh? <laughs> maybe she'll invite us on an interview sometime. Or yeah, maybe, maybe we, we can... could go to Canada and that would be a good reason to let us in. <laughs> exactly. So how's things going up there in the North Country there, Paul? I'd love to hear about you. And if you've got some ideas on your tricks <laughs> Share them with us or hacks. Definitely. If you will. She says, Thanks for the logo logo advice. My my pleasure. Um, there's a lot of great books on branding. And so Paula's um, you know, is she's well, what would you say? Um, a couple steps, a couple miles ahead of us in terms of the maturity on going to your um, RV channel. So she's starting to get to the stickers. We haven't talked about stickers yet, have we? Not yet, but we're going to. I'm uh, pretty sure. You know, and some people like, uh, you know, stickers, like, it's not a good thing. <laughs> like, who's the sticker? But no, we're talking about them, you know, where you actually have brand, where you share stickers um, is kind of advertising or just sharing. And you want to be associated with um, brands like um, Van Vita Travel is a great one. So she asked what we're doing Monday at 7, oh, 7 a.m.? 7 Whoa. Or is it PM? I think she does something in the later in the day. Monday is CST. Anyway, yeah, we could Today do it central standard central standard time. Okay. We could do that. Yeah. Seven AM we'd we'd have to get to bed early. Grace wait, would wait, have wait. to stop nudging me. I think it's seven PM probably, I think is when she does them. Okay, yeah. Seven PM is probably. That's, that's five of our time. That'd be an awesome time to do it. Okay, PM, yay. Because I was going to say 7 a.m. I think I'm still <laughs> in the midst of drinking coffee. <laughs> that's right. Grace, once she gets that first or is it a second step of About coffee? Third. Third step, man. It's like, look out. You know, I'm normally just kind of semi comatose. And she is like making me drink out of the fire hydrant. Yeah, that would be great. We would enjoy that. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. So we can talk a little bit more about um, getting teed up and how long you want us to be on. But um, love your shows and your interviews. And um, so anyway, if you're interested in interviews out there um, to learn the best in class things from other RVers, Paul has got quite the show. And so, um, yeah, getting back to our tips, though, Grace, is do you have any more before I get started with some of the pictures I took today? Okay. Um, so this is my last shot to get in a word ed edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. Sorry. No, I, I went to um, a website, which is the RV Share, and I got some really good ideas. And I can share the screen if we have time later, but I'll go ahead and let Michael show some of the things that we've done to improve and um, some tips and tricks that we've used in our own RV. Yes, yes. So I'm sure, you know, I just took some pictures around our RV. Um, we decided, well, first off, we just got back from a trip. And um, it wasn't a long one, three days, but, you know, it's better than two. And I think we like that, you know, three to five days. That's kind of a nice formula. And um, since we are not a lot of advanced planners in terms of getting reservations weeks or months ahead of time, it's kind of nice, and we can go out on a Monday or Sunday and come back on a midweek sometimes. So tell them where we went, Grace. We went to Wendy. <laughs> I remember how to say it because it rhymes with Wendy. It's Hendy. H-E-N-D-Y. -E Hendy Woods. Hendy Woods State Park. And it was a new one for us. Michael discovered it a few weeks ago, and it is a woodsy area not just with a lot of redwoods but a lot of pines and a lot of other trees as well and the best part of this trip is we actually had the entire loop to ourselves i mean there wasn't even a camp post it, it was ideal it was like having property with nobody around you for miles for three whole beautiful wonderful days and i loved it yeah it was all ours wasn't it it there. was mm -hmm. So yeah, good to get away, and as they say, great to be back. So I got a screen share I'm going to do here. Let's see if this works. And um, okay, Grace, you and I will be small screen, and okay. we'll put the uh, big screen there with the screen sharing. So I think we're good to go. So oh, is that our shower? That is our shower. It was our shower. That was our shower. <laughs> we've never actually used the shower once over all the years. So 
Yeah, I know. We keep our arms down. We don't raise them up too much when we're around other people. We walk no. around like this, like <laughs> stiffs. That's right. <laughs> but no, um, so we've found that, you know, you can never have enough space. And we do have some a couple of good side base on our Class C. It's 25 foot. And some other this and some that's, but you can see, in fact, I think I've got a um, digitizer pad here going. Let's see if I can get this. Um, if I do a um, F1, yeah, okay. So um, I'm going to make some circles. There's one shelf there. There's a second shelf. And there's the third shelf. And then there's that area underneath it also, which is the, you know, the bottom of what would be the bathtub. And there's actually a, a little room up on top as well. So, um, yeah, it's really kind of nice is to have something where you can have a lot of storage. And so this one on the top, um, oh, we've got a lot of bike tools um, and things like that. And then um, later on, I'll talk about our totes, but I've got room for a tote right there. And, Grace, this is something that's yours over there that, that I'm circling now. What is that? Okay, well, that is something new that I put in. That's um, because this was a short trip, it can had your iced tea and my water in it. Oh, yeah. The tote. Normally, I put all our spare drinks down on the bottom down by the at bathtub. The bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but this time, with the amount that we had, I just put them there. And then the extra room and space there, that is also for my totes. That's for my makeup. No. This is to the um, <laughs> left of it there? <laughs> yeah, that is my space. That's her, my her, clothes and my, ex my uh, toiletries. Lotions and potions, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, so that area over there is um, where we can put a big, like this blue one up above that I'm circling down there. And, and down below, um, you know, lot lots of space in these so so we enjoy that and do we normally go to the uh, the showers where we're staying um, if it's an independent campground of course with these COVID-19 it's not always available but we've used um, trucker stops um, and they're very clean we've had no problems with those and sometimes um, we just um, do our personal hygiene cleaning for a day or two, don't yeah, we? Yeah, the sensitive baby wipes work really well. They do. For we, sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. That's a, a very good thing. So anyway, that's our, our first one, just taking a look in um, our bathroom and um, where we have so much extra storage. So let's see if I hit the F3 key. I think I can go to the next one. Come on, baby. Go to the next slide, please. Oh, wait. If you go back to your picture right here that you're on, if you go oh, over okay. um, next to the blue tote, you'll see a hanger with the um, clips on it. Oh, yeah. I'll, I have a picture of that oh, coming up. Okay. okay. But I'm supposed to be able to do um, to the next photos. But if I have to do it this way each time, I will. I think it should. Oh, there. It's changing. So we'll get there in a second. But um, these metal hangers, now, they look like they're kind of big. But if you um, look over here on the side... Right here, you can see the typical plastic ones, like there's a plastic one there, and it's, they're pretty good size yeah. versus the um, other that we're talking about, these metal ones. They're so thin. They take yeah. up hardly any space. Yeah, and they really hold the clothing nicely as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're, we've been very happy with those. And I think whenever I do a um, – working on the screen, I have to come back to this one. That's Okay. Alicia and there's the one, Grace, you wanted to talk about. Tell well, us about this. Well, that's a new addition that we just got. Oh, Van Vita says she's happy that she didn't put a shower in. Yeah, and definitely love to hear more about that as well. Um, on this rack that Michael just put in, you know, we had a few options, but I really liked having our mask nearby where the door would be, where we'd walk out, as well as some of our reading material. So that mm -hmm. was a nice addition. Yeah, and it um, normally everything I'll be using Velcro. This one I did go into the wall since it's, you know, um, just more another wall on the other side. I'm not worried about hitting things. But um, you could put an iPad or something like that. It, it could hold, I think, about five pounds easily. So, but, you know, just the convenience sometimes where it's so easy to put things in the RV and things get on top of it. And sometimes you want fast access. So, and, and then I'm looking over to the left there <laughs> where our thermostat is for our air conditioner or heater. And up above it, you see what it says, Grace? The marriage prayer. A marriage prayer. Have we ever looked at that? Yes, I have. Good. Well, it's, it's kind of... Every day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I think there's a little energy in that one, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Okay. And this is some things, you know, I've heard about other people having these for, um, you know, like a to put on door grip or things, or just 
you know, tie ropes across or, and you've been using this already, haven't I you, I did. Grace? I use that. Well, this was the first opportunity that we've gone out since you put those on, but they really hold the dish towel nicely because it's right above the sink. So it's a great place to kind of keep it out of the way and stop it from getting mildewed or damp. Mm-hmm. kind of air it out a little. Yeah, you could put a, a hanger on there if you wanted to hang something up or, you know, True. just at night when you're getting ready to go to bed and you want to, you know, put your some of your clothes on it or a, a hat or whatever. Just nice little handy things to have around. Okay, um, and this actually I got from my mother for her shower. She's, Michael, I'd like something so that I'm not going to slip in the shower. And I finally got her something more permanent that she said she preferred. And I thought, well. It makes me want to pick it up and say hello. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Like the old phone days. Hello? But um, it's nice. You can, once again, hang things on or use it to ropes too, or just kind of pop it off. And if you want to use it on the outside of your RV or where you want it, it's nice to have some extra space sometimes to hang things hello, from. Hello, Gina. And meant to be living is with us. Welcome. Hey, Gina. Good to have you here, dear. Uh, missing you these days. So we've been kind of like um, the one-legged man in the Charleston here lately, but <laughs> we're trying to get back in the groove with you all. So good to have you here. Now, notice this little area here just to the left of that um, suction cup handle. And I'll get to that in a second. But this um, area right in here, it goes down about another three feet. And we're going to talk about that in a minute, too. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you get these extra spaces. Oh, you have your arrow right there for the next photo, honey. It's right in the middle of the screen. If you go over to the white section in the middle and put your mouse there, you'll mm -hmm. get to your next arrow. Oh, okay. So I have to go back to here. There and there go. it's working. Okay. And Grace, you like this new thing that we got you? I do. Um, I, I really... That's something that you don't really think you need or you don't even think about because you kind of get used to not having it. But the paper towels would be like either in the microwave or on the limited counter space and they would get wet. And Michael put this up and it is fantastic. I love it. Fantastic, too. <laughs> yeah, little things make me happy. And, you know, this was one I didn't really want to drill holes in the wall. And um, coming up, I think, on about the next slide... Is there you go. Um, you know, there's different strengths of Velcro. You can see this one here. It says the industrial strength Velcro, that it holds 10 pounds. So not that our paper dispenser is going to need 10 pounds. But, you know, I love having these um, Velcro for various things you want to put on the wall and not be drilling and worrying about hitting the um, uh, electric um, cord or something like that or worse water pipes. So yeah, we like to use these um, when it makes sense. And um, here's one I saw from the Wendelins, I think it was. Um, and you know, I don't know if you've had this problem, but um, well, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back. And we did our RV um, microwave repair, replacement, and it was a DIY. I thought, you know, I'm not gonna try to use some insurance. I've done. I'll just do it myself. But what would, we found out was that there was no vent. I mean, how can you imagine that you have a stove, two um, gas stove top, and don't have an outside vent? Well, it didn't on our 25-foot um, um, Fleetwood Icon. And so you had to keep the overhead vent open. Um, but what would happen be sometimes the smoke detector would go off on us, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. And so we finally got where you have to unscrew it or thing. It, it did unscrew. But this model here, you can see if you look down at the bottom, it's got like where you um, push this button right there and it pops up. So, um, yeah, if you say, well, okay, I, I know what I'm cooking. It's going to be safe. I'm only going to be doing it for five minutes or whatever. And you want it to be where um, you can disable it on an interim basis. It's really nice with those push button types. I'm very happy. I have a question for you. We got Jeff. that. Yeah. How will you know when dinner's ready? <laughs> <laughs> well, you used to have a bell. You could ring a bell. But since that's home. <laughs> that's at home. But yes, uh, you're right. That's kind of like when the smoke detector's going off, it's time to be ready for dinner. But yeah. you know, actually that was the old days because these days um, we finally did get a Blackstone. You know, I think it was Papa Drew. We saw his Blackstone and thought, um, hey, and look, is I think Sue is here with us too. Hey, Sue with Lucky Dog. Hello. Good to see you again. Um, yeah, I couldn't um, wait to get settled in on our last trip and, and tune in remotely. We did have enough um, bars of service. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, 
good to have you here. And if you've got um, any of you have any ideas on things you want to talk about on your tips and tricks, um, we would like that. Yeah, we would love more ideas of making our little house as convenient and happy as our big house. Well, it's definitely as happy, but it's, it's convenient. Yeah. And if any of you want to come in, too, um, just let us know, and um, we can give you the link. In fact, I think, um, Grace, you want to do that? There, yeah. Okay, I'll continue on. So anyway, this um, Code 1, or other companies make them, too, but these, um, where they, it says front load door. If you get one with a front load door, that means you can just push the button. It pops up, and that 9-volt battery is going to come out of the circuit, and you're not going to have to worry about the alarm going off during the time you want it temporarily disabled. The next one, this is such a silly little device, and um, I got it from Harbor Freight, and um, it's just an off-on switch. <laughs> it's only about maybe ah, half an inch thick, but um, when you turn it in the on position, and it has Velcro, excuse me, self-adhesive tape on the backside, it turns it on, and it's, the battery lasts a long, long, long time because it's there, so... It's, we just, I think, Grace, you have one of those that you've put underneath the, um, or I should say, on top of the stove area? Yeah, Is we used to using? have the little fan and the little light, and with the new microwave, we don't have those. You got one at the Dollar Tree. Van Vita got one at the Dollar Store. You know, And they do. Oh, they yeah. work really good, especially for me, because generally I'm up a little bit earlier than Michael, and when I want to start my coffee, it's enough light to just get everything going without really disturbing him too much. And you can take them off so easily and just put another one in. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, uh, Lucky says that she loves Harbor Freight. We we had yeah. a good time. I was trying to remember. I remember going, but I don't remember where we were when we went or which one we went to. I have a cousin from Minnesota, and um, her husband is, um, I don't know if he's a vice president or what, but um, what a great company he works for there with Harbor Freight. Yeah, definitely. So, and then the... Um, Commands. Commands, baby. <laughs> Get the multi-pack. And, you know, they got these little hooks. You stick them on. And once again, they're self-adhesive. 3M, they make good adhesives. Yeah. And so, yeah, these are nice for um, if you want to put a, a washcloth or um, hand towel oh, or clothes. Tons of things. In fact, I saw one when I was doing a little research on this whole idea of tips, tricks, and hacks where they use these um, to put up a curtain separator between the front cab and the back. So that's an idea, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another great spot for them. And <laughs> um, I saw one of the RVers. Um, she uh, is on the road by herself and wants to have um, utmost of safety and security. And so uh, on the outside of her RV... She has some of these um, ultrasonic um, alarms that send a signal to the control unit inside. I got one, too. I thought that's a good idea. But how to hang them on the outside, I didn't want them permanent. So I thought, you know, I just put a zip tie that uh, was on the um, remotes. And um, then I have these clips on the outside of the RV. And it looks attractive enough, like you could use it for other things, too. But that worked great for that. And, you know, sometimes everything's not always functionality. This next one's um, for aesthetics and uh, little cubes. If you want some, you know, you can put them on multiple colors. If you want to use it for a light source, it's not the brightest, but um, something for like at a table or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, sometimes it's just nice when you have people over. You want something with just um, a little color. And I know a lot of people have LED strips. In fact, we have some, too. I've never actually taken these long strings that I see a lot of people have. They're great when people put them outside of their RV, you know where your RV is, or when somebody comes by to visit you, and it just, it looks a little upbeat, doesn't it? It does. I was thinking, and well, this must be a, a senior thing, but that's the spot right there by the purple one, a little bit more in the corner toward the edge, is where I always put my morning pills that I take before I get oh, out of bed, yeah. mm -hmm. and it'd be nice to have that little light to glow, otherwise I'm like reaching and I'm accidentally touching my phone and everything else, searching, and then they fall off between the bed and the sink. Good point. So yeah. that little light would help mm -hmm. me find my meds. Good thinking. We should do that. Next up. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, now, this one's kind of changed over the last several years. I've used um, Reflectix and been very happy with it as it gets to be down in the 40s and in the 30s. Um, we have um, cut slices to 
fit over all of our windows. So, you know, in our um, basically our unit is a sprinter. So the front of it, you know, it's like um, a Mercedes sprinter. And um, so I have one cut for that. And then the window you're seeing now on the side windows. Also, well, the side and yeah. the front also, we have them cut for that. Well, the way the picture is, just to explain a little, um, the way Michael took that picture, it should be probably, I don't know, it's a chair. And I wish we had a further away viewpoint mm -hmm. unit, but it's one of the chairs that go to our table set and they slide in between. Yeah, so we have it behind and there's something underneath that is powered that I want to have or it doesn't get too warm. We'll talk about that in a minute. But um, yeah, so we're looking at it at a 45 degree angle here. But the, off to the left here, these guys are something new. And um, Eurovan, E-U-R-O, van.com. Um, um, I saw where they had these. It's like a Reflectix, but if you look at it close, you can see that um, these are thicker than... Um, this is the Reflectix over here. And so this actually is kind of a woven material inside of it. And so it is thicker. And it, they are very nice if it gets real cold. And they're they're very easy to um, fabricate and change in different positions. And so. they don't squeak as much as the old. <laughs> what do you mean squeak? They well, don't when eat you beans. sit in that chair <laughs> and, and you're doing anything, it's like this continuous with the old ones. It's a continuous squeak, squeak. So we'd have yeah. to put a towel between to stop that annoying no noise. But these don't seem to make it as much. Correct. Yeah. So it's um, they're not as, um, uh, I guess, a different tensile. Yeah. So anyway, that those are um, whatever you use. But, um, you know... Windows obviously have a rating of R1, maybe R0 or whatever. They don't do much. So if you put something over them, you, know, you could put cloth over them. Some people do. We like the Reflectex, um, and it also keeps it um, cooler, too, when you've got the air conditioning or you've got your Siberian Husky from Russia, <laughs> Kaliki, our dog, to keep it so it's cooler in the summertime as well. Definitely. Okay, next up is organizers. Tell us about totes. There's a green tote I'm seeing there, honey. Well, we've got several totes. There are a total of four cabinets like this that goes across our, um, what is it, 23 foot, 24, 24. foot? Mm -hmm. 24 foot Class C. Um, and there's four of these cupboards. And this is my dishes and kind of pantry, additional pantry. And when it was all just open, everything would slide and fall on top of each other and become disorganized. So by putting in these cubes, it stops everything from sliding. It gives everything a space, everything a place, um, and keeps it organized. Plus, I think it probably keeps things from breaking as well. Yeah. And I did get like this. Um, I'm going to make a, this a circle underneath it here. There's um, another one that's just kind of just a metal stand. So it fits in. So rather than have to stack something on top of each other, we can put, um, we must have our nuts. <laughs> now that's actually Kaliki's dog food. Oh, that, oh, I've been eating the wrong thing then. <laughs> <laughs> this whole cube is dedicated to our, our woolly Siberian. This is dedicated to the one I love. That's what I said. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> the next one is your nuts. See, there's what? your oatmeal. Oh, yeah, over here. Okay. Yes. I get a little bit of area myself. And what's this over on the right-hand side, darling? I see you've got some Swifters that yeah, you've actually, used. Yeah, um, actually, we have a Swifter. Which is a? It, it's a mop, and mm -hmm. it actually comes apart, so it fits in one of these. Our mop is in one of these little uh, sweeper boxes, and then above, of course, are the wipes, and then below are like some cords and clothespins and quarters, laundry soap, you know, the little laundry soaps. So that works well. And the little ones you can buy at the Dollar Tree. So those work really good. Absolutely. Yes. So we we use those totes. Uh, I, we put about eight or ten of them. Yeah. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. I guess they're, On oh, that gosh, maybe a foot and a half high. They're at least a, they're more than a foot high, I think. But um, I'd say they're like about 14 by 14 by 16 or whatever they are. But they collapse up to nothing, and um, they hold about... 10 pounds each and so i guess you could use them when you go shopping too we don't use but we like for our clothes and things like that we yeah use well them. we use those when we go back to where the shower was that's where our totes go for our personal yeah if we didn't have our our totes things would not be so easy to find yeah those were a godsend 
Okay, and there's, Ooh. I guess, some more of them. And Oh, you know, there's I have to have cereal. about three or four cereals to mix. And, you know, I'm not just like one cereal kind of guy. So <laughs> you have one there for my cereals. And right, also. as a reference, see our 40 questions video, and you can find yes. out Michael's favorite food. 40 question challenge, yes. And power. Um, yeah, so, you know, I was going to go the full solar thing, and I thought, you know, with a 24-foot long RV, uh, I can't get but maybe about three, 400 watts of solar on top. And I thought, but we're not out that long. And I don't mind running the um, generator. Excuse me. I do have, we do have a generator, an own end generator, 3,500 watts. But also, um, I thought the alternator on the um, RV, the engine, is um, about 200 amps. So I'm going to do just a quickie math, not to get too techy, but it's um, 200 amps. And it's um, 13 volts is what we have. So if you multiply them together, you're getting, you know, 2,000 plus watts. Not that I would run it that much, um, but, you know, 1,000 watts. I could run 1,000 watts when the engine's running on the RV. And so, you know, I've got this 2,000 watts continuous um, our, um, inverter. So if you look at the top here, you can see the red wire and the black wire underneath here where I put the X is where the battery is. And so I have um, a split off on the battery that goes to the back of the inverter and it makes um, 110 volts basically. So here on the front of it where you see these arrows you can see where it goes. And I have this one wire that goes to a um, strip a terminal strip, so Power I can, strip. you know, have five, six things. So, you know, I would you want to do it for just your camera batteries or things like that? It seems like it'd be kind of a waste for something that small. We've done our bike batteries. But our on bike it. batteries, our bike batteries, there um, take several hours. So if we're, you know, going between city pairs, and I've got some free energy basically almost by just um, charging them up, then that's a nice way to go. I don't have to run the uh, the generator just going off the, the RV when it's running. Exactly. Yeah, I know. When he first put that in, I was like, we got a generator. I don't get it. Um, I think it was when we were in Lamoille. Is that right? Mm -hmm. In um, Nevada, Lamoille. Up by Elko, right, Nevada. The National The Forest. Ruby Mountains. Um, we were up there with no electrical hookup. And that was the first time I really saw the benefit of this. It gave us the power for the laptop and for charging the iPads and all our devices. And just on that note, you know, I was kind of like a little, oh gosh, are, are these too cheap? You know, because you look at the, the ones, if you're getting, you know, a nice solar unit that are, you know, be 1500 to $3,000. And I thought, oh, I don't know. Uh, and some of the um, Chinese one to be um, Frank about it. I was not so sure, but this company, it looked like they um, made good ones. So if you're interested, I can give you some information. But I think it was about $279. And I thought 2K, 2 kilowatts is plenty. Right. And, and so, go ahead. There's also the the videos that you have on how to oh, install yeah. them. Venvita does have a question, though, honey. I have it up on oh, the yeah. screen. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Why don't you add a few batteries between the alternator and inverter? You would ha have additional battery storage without solar. Oh, Wait a second. Paula. Ding, ding, ding. Nailed it. Yeah, baby. Nailed it. <laughs> you are right. I have been thinking about that. So if you wanted to get some lithium batteries, and you'll see our batteries in a second. But, yeah, if you wanted to have some batteries for extra um, power, you, you charge those when you're in your RV, uh, depending upon how you have your um, transfer switches and everything hooked up. But absolutely. Now, this is um, not coming from our house battery. This is just coming from the RV um, alternator. Were we able to watch TV on that as well? Um, yeah, I just normally just say, okay, I'll just take the TV rather than use the house um, wiring, the 110 house wiring. Mm -hmm. I just have it where I just change it over to plug it right into the terminal strip here. Yeah, okay, I thought we did. But yeah, so anyway, in addition to the 110 volt um over here is um, a um, three outlet um, for your 12 volts, you know, with the cigarette lighters, if you want to call them. There's three of them there. One, two, three. And then over here, where I've got the big circle. 
there are four um, USB. And um, those USB, these over here that I'm circling now are 2.4 amps. So you rather than like just have a one amp, which takes quite a while to get your cell phone or whatever, you know, if your device can take more than one amp, this will go up to two and a half amps, which is nice. Now, you know, there are some devices that can take more than that these days, but you know, two and a half is not bad. And then if that isn't enough, up at the top, <laughs> I have another unit there, which has um, four. And I think it has four that are two and a half amps and another that are one amp. And so I can take this and plug it into one of those if I need to. But normally these three I've got used, and I'll show you what I use those for next. But wait. There's more. There's more. <laughs> how did I know he was going to say that? And Grace, that? now see how sometimes it doesn't want to let me go to the next slide. Oh, there it did it. Okay. So um, there's a close-up of it. And you can see 2.4 amps on the right where I've got those white, um, which is going to our iPhones, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And then there's the one amps. And then up here, there's a couple more that are two and a half amps if I need to use more. And we use those like for um, our bikes. We have um, our helmets. We have intercoms built into our helmets. And then we have our um, navigation device on our um, bikes. It's a Garmin. And then in the back, we have what do we have in the back of our bikes, honey? We have the radar that talks to the... Garmin and lets us know that there's a car behind us. So believe it or not, it'll go up to 150 yards. So if somebody's behind us, uh, maybe even 300 yards, it lets us know when a vehicle's starting to be. So even though we have the camera, excuse me, the mirrors on our helmets, it's nice to know. Uh, Van Vita says that she has two sets of batteries, cab and house, all charged by the alternator and the house batteries are also charged by solar. Oh, thanks for that. I did want to get back to you there, Paula. Um, so yeah, two sets of batteries. And I'm wondering, do you have the, uh, let's see, one of three types, the traditional lead acid, the two, the um, glass, AGM, or three, ching ching, lithium? <laughs> the lithium, lithium. <laughs> ferrite. Yes. I'd be curious to know what kind of a setup you have. Share us with us. Sharing is caring. And um, do you want to put that link up again if somebody wants to come on and give us some details? Maybe Paula wants to join us. She can give us the juicy details as I well. Do that. So give us the link again if she wants to join us. Yes, we love that, to. Love to hear about more on your setup because um, sharing deep, is caring. We'd love to learn. Deep cycle marine in the house. Deep cycle marine. Okay, in the house batteries. Yeah, that's. Um, better if the, the deep cycles are going to last longer. You know, the ones we've got are, they call them the golf cart batteries, the six volters. So you put two in series and you get your 12 volts, which, you know, pretty much all the RVs, that's what they run. And I mean, some go with the 24 and 48. But um, yeah, everything in ours is a 12 volt system. So um, what you do is if you have multiple batteries and they're 12 volts, and I don't know if that's what your deep cycles are 12, you just put them in parallel rather than in series. So um, thank you for sharing that. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed up at the top of ours, but this is something I do keep my eye on. It says 12, and you can't see the decimal point, 12.6. But um, yeah, if the, we're not running the engine, because this is going to the, um, the battery in the RV, um, you know, we'll do things at nighttime to have them plugged in, like charge up our cell phones or our eye watches or who knows what. Oh, I and know what goes on there that I really like. What's that? The Wi-Fi extender. Oh, we're going to get to that. That's one of our biggies. Shh, shh, shh. That's one of my favorites. That's their fave. So anyway, but yeah, as long as I can see, and that's why I like this um, USB as well as the uh, cigarette lighter, is I can see the voltage. I know it's... If it's there, oh, you know, 12 volts, 12.1, we're okay. I, I know it'll start the next morning. Van Vita joins us. Welcome, Paula. Oh, hey, Paula. Hi. Good to have you here, dear. How are you feeling today? Good, good, good. I had to quickly throw a hat on. It's it's my Friday off, so it was like no makeup, oh. no hair done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join you. Let's see if I can reach it. Oh, dear. Who knows where he's going? So he's going to get lost in his office. Oh. True. When I go, okay. Ah, here we go. Here's my hat. And it's oh, nice. there you go. Oh, now you don't have to do your go. hair, Michael. Bad decisions make good stories, Paula. 
Did you? <laughs> oh, what'd she say? Now you don't have to do your hair. <laughs> oh, guilty I, as charged. I did mine. I took a long time this morning to do it. So let's let's get rid of this screen for a second and get um, let's do a three way. Let's see where do we get all three of us there? Okay, how do we get Paula to be the main? Oh, oh my gosh, I don't need oh, to wow. be a main person. <laughs> you guys oh, we'll are go freaking back to... me out. I said I had no makeup on. Like, let's I back me up a little oh, bit. Yeah. <laughs> that, that smile makes up for that and more. There we go. Okay, Thanks. that's nice. Ooh, shoot. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, so my, because I have the ambulance, but you do it with anyone. My motor has actually two batteries, and that's charged, wow. obviously, by the alternator like any other vehicle. So that's mm -hmm. in the cab. So my separate system is in the back, and I have two deep cycle marine batteries wired mm -hmm. in in. Uh, is it series or parallel? Are they red to red, black to black? Six volts. Third twelve. Oh, then you probably have them in parallel, so that yeah. you have twice the red current. to red, black to back. Yeah. 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 And um, so that I also have from the alternator running to those back batteries. So when I'm driving. I flip my isolator switch and I'm charging my back batteries. Right? Good. And when I'm yes. so those batteries are full when I usually get to wherever I am. And then my solar goes directly to the house back batteries. And that just mm -hmm. helps maintain them depending on how, how long how I'm out. How much do you have in panels there? You know, like um, 300 watts. 300 and I don't watts? have near That's enough battery storage for what I could be keeping. Yeah. Yeah, it depends, of course, the time of year and all that good stuff, whether it's overcast or rainy. But um, so well, you no, have like, plenty I'm, enough solar. I'm at literally 300 watts. A lot of that is wasted power because I'm not storing it because I only have two um, are the eight, 80 amp hour batteries. So I only actually have 80 usable amp hours. Oh, okay. So let's see, 80 times 12 volts yeah it's um that's amps 100 watts or something like that i guess is that right no 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 80 amps times 12 will show you how many watts i can use in an hour well i mean that's the total watts yeah um, yeah whether you use it in an hour now or during whatever, the but... day i can be running something that's what however many watts that is and not really be draining my battery yeah. During the I day. My understanding of the way the numbers work and help me with this is that um, we can take the voltage times the amps. And mm -hmm. uh, this is DC circuits now. That gives yeah. you the watts, the maximum watts it'll hold. And I think at least with mine, um, which are the um, you know cheaper of the ones, you don't get want to get down beneath 50%. So if it's... Um, yeah. So if I run I mine to fifty percent, I can run nine hundred and sixty watts. Oh, without going below fifty percent. Okay, that's nice. Right, that that's pretty good. Then Pam. if you have a thousand watts, you can get Pam Gypsy Aries. But that's per hour, and that would run me right down to half on my batteries if I wasn't getting more power in. Uh huh. Well, that gives you quite a bit of things you can do. I mean, you're not going to be running heaters or things, but, you know, what types no. of things do you like to use in yours? I just mostly have, like, my lights to recharge stuff, my 12-volt fridge, and then some fans. Mm -hmm. Just and then if you're doing, pretty simple. Uh, and then for my heat, I just set up propane. Uh-huh. Do you do your Sorry? live streaming mostly on just a cell phone device or laptops, or what do you use for that? <sighs> Laptop. Right now I'm in oh. house. Okay. Oh, but in the house? Yeah. Okay. Before I had been doing them out in the ambulance and I was picking up my Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Just hot spot. Yeah. But I still do it on my laptop because my cell phone shows way too many wrinkles. <laughs> so I'm happy with my crappy laptop camera. Thank you very much. <laughs> Makeup. Yeah, Makeup. They keep making them better all the time. I do want to take a second and welcome Pam Gypsy Aries. And she says that the batteries and solar are her next thing. Yeah. Well, um, certainly... Paula Van Vita Travels has got some tips for you there because she's got a really good system there. I love that idea where, you know, without having a, a huge investment, you can have your power that comes from your alternator um, going two ways. Um, you mm -hmm. know, one, your traditional and then the other goes to your extra set of um, your 
what do you call the batteries? Deep cycle, right? Deep cycle. Yes. Yeah. So if I was driving every day, I probably wouldn't really need the solar. Mm. But I'm not going to drive every day. This yeah. this is exactly right? the thing. Yeah. yeah, that's something that we're um, doing more and more is taking two to three days before we move on. That's going to be a goal instead of uh-huh. driving and driving and packing and driving. Slow down and enjoy the journey. In fact, when I'm like doing video editing and we're out on the road for several weeks, like down in Quartzsite or something like that, well, um, it's okay. You can run your um, generators most all of the day. But if we're like, mm-hmm. say, just going for a place overnight and we get to um, like, say, a state or national campground, it's like, shh, after, I don't know, it's seven or eight o'clock, eight depends usually. on the ones. Yeah, eight o'clock, shut them down. Well, the Onan generator is a little loud but you know if you have the engine running in the rv it doesn't make hardly any noise so Mm -hmm. sometimes we can go ahead and do some editing for a couple hours um, before shutting down for the night so yeah i think what i'm trying to say is everyone we have our own styles and then we maybe change our styles depending upon our gear Mm -hmm. but it sounds like you're pretty happy with yours right now well i set up my solar system myself trust me michael i did so much learning 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 i didn't even know there was a difference in types of power before i started researching right but i spent total package for my solar and power system a thousand dollars canadian and that's That's 300 watts of so that's 300 watts of solar a 3000 watt inverter i have a little a little fused bus bar for my 12 volt system Mm -hmm. um and the two deep cycle marine batteries and then the wiring i actually even counted all all of that into c and it was 975 dollars to be exact what your panels are they 100 watts or 150 each what's that Two 150 watt. Oh, two 150 watts. That's nice. Cause it... And my system is set up that I can add one more 150 watt for what my wires are. And I have a particular hub that I connect my panels together that will handle up to 450 watts. Sweet. But I would only do that if I invested in more batteries first. And you hook that all up yourself? Yes, ma'am. Wow. I'm like... And I have tons of video footage. And then this laptop crashed and the whole, the hard drive or whatever. See, I know less when it comes to computers. Lost everything on my hard drive. Oh, uh, must have made so, you sick. And I've only got a couple little clips on my cell phone because I switched cell phones. And all the rest, because I had it downloaded the computer, I had just deleted. <laughs> <laughs> but I have an external hard drive now. I've learned the hard way. Oh, yeah. Yes. I, I yes, had yes. two external hard drives. I had my backup, and then I had the backup of all my favorite photos backed up, and they both crashed at the same time. So, yeah. She's oh. hard on her drives. Oh, no. <laughs> That's, it was not a happy day. No, it was a but she has oh. some online, you know, even if it was, you know, Facebook resolution, it was, yeah. she had that. Yeah, I'm always mm-hmm. able to get at least a four by six, and, and that was Back in the day, I, oh, um, what was the one I used to use with Yahoo Mail, honey? Um, Flickr. I had a lot on Flickr that saved the day for mm-hmm. me. Yeah, yeah. But we'll that's my of... quick system that I put together. Well, we definitely yeah. thank you for sharing yeah. that with us. Yeah. Why don't you check us out on some of our other ones too, and, and you can kibitz with yeah. us as we go through them. So let's so see. Go, I want to do a screen. You're share, keeping me so. up here. <laughs> Come on. Because I was oh. looking at where the red and black, your thicker wires are coming from your alternator, and you could just connect that to a battery. That's all you need absolutely. to add to your system. That, that is absolutely correct. Yeah, because that. In fact, you know, I probably over engineered by 5x but you know as you know when you get to these um, heavy current cables like for your 12 volt system um, you want to have enough amperage which means the smaller the wire number the bigger the cable is and you get like versus a 12 gauge to a 8 gauge to a 6 gauge mm-hmm. to a 4 gauge and I get a double lot gauge it's, it's about a size of my thumb almost and it's like you know what like, that's pretty much what's coming out of mine from my alternator as well oh too mm-hmm. hmm. you did get um, definitely engineered it well mm-hmm. well okay, you want to so be able to handle it if you can't handle it you're going to ruin something right this is exactly it. You always want to have a little extra engineering because what happens is the smaller the wire, the hotter it gets, and that is not a good thing. Yeah, I don't want any fires. Well said. No. Well, here's our next one. Um, 
these are I'm um, just coming right off the cigarette lighter, right off of that. Um, you know, not our inverter or anything like that. These are just 12 volt systems. So we've got our our Garmin Navigator. It has some voice recognition. It does okay. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle is um, Yi Y I <laughs> Yi, and it's um, a 4K um, recorder, which is nice. You know, if there was ever an accident or whatever, you know, you'd be able to have video. Once in a while, we'll use it for our California travel videos when we're going. I don't have to, you know, have a a GoPro or something going I, to the front. I have front. something to add on that. Okay. It's also a great way to settle a dispute with your spouse because if you're having a conversation yeah, yeah. and they say you yeah. said something that you actually did not say, you can say, play the tape. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we use it sometimes as an arbitrary. I, Grace, I said that. No, you didn't say that. You didn't give me a subject of the sentence. I'd swear you didn't, Grace. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> you guys. Oh, I know. And then over on the left is the tire pressure monitoring system. This is Easy Tire, but it shows the it rotates between each of our six tires on our unit. You connected all that? Yeah, yeah. It's, wow. Um, it's just it only takes the 12 volt, and we use the cigarette lighter. I could have used, I suppose, you know, one of the um, USB, but um, then it just has um, each of the um, covers that goes over where your valve stems are. It has, they have like a small button battery in them. It lasts a year or two, and it just sends a signal to um, that. And then this easy tire, it just goes about five seconds for each and says, here's what your tire pressure is. It's 62 pounds, Michael, and it's it's 90 degrees right now. And then it goes to the next one and just keeps pulling. And if one of them goes outside of whatever limits you set, then it gives a little beep to let you know. It also forecasts the weather for you, honey. Remember? Tell them how you forecast the weather using that tire gauge. <laughs> well, yeah, if you see that um, all of the pressure on all the Everything's tires Everything's supposed to be over... multi-purpose. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, if it goes up over 100 degrees, I know it's getting warm outside. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> okay, next up, Grace, what's this? These are, okay, I'm a, I, I, I'm a collector. I normally get spoons is what my thing was. And, mm -hmm. and when you're traveling in small space, you obviously can't be a huge collector. So we started collecting stickers, and these are some of our favorite places that we got to visit. So she says stickers, so yeah, someday we're going to have to get Paula and Gina's and everybody yeah. else's stickers up there. Special, oh, in fact, speaking of tips and tricks, one of the things that I saw on a do-it-yourself channel was the refrigerator had been turned to, um, they put some type of a chalkboard over the refrigerator. And they turn that space, which right now is not being utilized at all, into chalkboard. So I was thinking we could put something over the refrigerator to kind of use for additional stickers. Well, why not? Yeah, so we can get everybody's sticker. That's a good thing. I think we maybe make this for a place we're going and on the refrigerator people we know. Exactly. Hey, Ashberry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was. Let's see if I can get to the next slide here. How do I get? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mentioned before where you have this little opening, right? Um, well, in the lower left corner, that's where our couch is. And then there's a little in opening in, in the bed that folds out. And so we have enough room for a chair there because sometimes you just want an extra chair that's easy to get to as well as... Um, there's a folding table, and we got this along halfway of going across the United States. I think at one of the um, Walmarts, yeah, wasn't that it? That was a find. You know, Michael, I would always pull over to Walmart, and one of the number one things that I was getting was their one dollar um, rolls because we'd like the sandwiches made on those, and mm -hmm. they would last a couple of days and make yeah. really good sandwiches. Fresh bread. Mm -hmm. But whenever Michael went in, I knew he was going to bring back something that <laughs> took space. <laughs> Yeah, um, but when he came back with it, because usually it's like he'd come back and I'd see bags and I'd be like, oh, no, now what's he got? He's a shopper more than I am. But when he brought that one home, I was like, score, I love that table. But you know, the point is, you see sometimes you get like, maybe there's just three inches or four inches wide in that area. And we get that chair and that table. And if we want it outside for our Blackstone grill or whatever, it's like... It's been really handy, hasn't it's it, to have an extra one? It is. I, well, we actually, there's one that comes with the RV, and there's these two little um, mounts, I guess, on the floor. But you've got to go to the closet, pull everything out of the closet to get the legs, then put the legs on, then get the table out. And by the time you set it up, it just, it's not, um, what's the word I'm looking for, convenient. Mm -hmm. Where this one that he got is perfect. 
I have a folding table as well, more like a card um, size table. But what I like about that is that I can use it inside or outside. Exactly. Because I had debated getting a lagoon mount and all of that stuff. And then I'm like, but then it's only good within this space. So that's good. Yeah, you've been looking at the um, oh, what do you call them? The the DIYs by other van people, I'm sure. Oh, I, just, I haven't yeah. until recently seen the Lagoon Mount, but that's um, a pretty cool thing for those, you know, especially with the really small um, vans and where it just mm-hmm. kind of you can put your laptop or whatever right on top of it. Is that what they use them for? Their laptop, their kitchen table, and they can swivel it so many different ways. And some have them adapted into their table that turns into their bed. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're very, very popular. But for me, yeah. I like the folding table personally. I can always change that later. But I love that it's indoor or outdoor. Yeah. Just and like that's with yours. One thing for us too, Paul. We like it whenever possible if something has more than one use. Always. That's, mm-hmm. it, it's like a rule that we've made. Everything has to be multi purpose. So um, here's one that we've seen somebody else had. And um, we had, I forget what the arrangement was before, Grace. I guess we had a string at the top of the broomstick and it, yeah. it worked. But yeah, once in a while it would bang a little bit. And yeah, it would make little, you know, tap, tap, tap noises all the way. So these are really nice. They just pops open, and then when you put the handle back in, it just grabs a hold of it. And it holds a real broom, whereas the first broom that Michael had gotten for the RV Uh was made for my (laughs) seven-year-old granddaughter to play house with. I would literally have to, like, hunch and bend over the It's like a little mini broom. Oh, Grace. I come from a camp where, you know, when you have a tent and you you don't have – you just need a little one in your tent. But yeah, it didn't work so well in no. our RV. No, you have to be four foot two or shorter. <laughs> and speaking of having fun, here's another one that we just, you know, like having a little something that kind of um, a little signature, a little brand. So it spins around at a fast rate when the wind is blowing. So kind of nice. Oh, there's the Nistlers, the California travel video people. So. The hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> we do not have pink flamingos. And ah. this I wasn't going to actually get out, but when I was going to the side, which I'm going to show you something next, I thought, oh, yeah, our folding step stool. I think we got that down at Quartzsite, actually. But mm-hmm. sometimes it's nice just to have something to sit on if you're going under your RV or if you just want it to get up high in yeah. your if RV. Yeah, you need it as a ladder to get, like, your ladder that on the back of your RV. Oh, that's right. It's yeah. a great way to get you a little boost. But that I love. I love all the things that collapse and take less space. Those mm-hmm. are awesome. Yeah. And there it is. This ah, my is favorite. Gigi's <laughs> favorite. Tell us what this is, Grace. That is what when I only have one bar of service and it's taking forever to load. We turn that baby on. We put the little Hershey candy bar under my phone and phew, I've got three to four bars. All. I love it. That's my Wi-Fi extender. Wilson Electronics. Boost. Boost. Now, baby. how expensive is that? It, too much. You won't want to get that till later. Yeah. But, you know, there are some other companies that make them for half the price. I don't know if this one's almost $500, which is a ton. Mm-hmm. Well, when we were gone um, for the last three days um, in the woods, so you're not going to get as much microwave signals going yeah. into the heavy woods. All by ourselves. We were getting maybe about one bar. And so if you want to do a text message, you know, it might take a while, but it'll go out and you'll get some back. No photo though. No photos. If you want to get, um, oh, like an email, if it doesn't have pictures, it'll, it'll go. But if you're trying to get on Facebook or she's doing her word for Twitter. friends or Twitter, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, God help if you're trying to watch um, a YouTube. Trying to check out election results or yeah. anything like that. <laughs> right. But lucky dog, um, Sue, when we got um, um, settled in, the first thing I want to do is um, start watching your video on your live stream. And um, as soon as I turned on the Wii Boost, is that I went from that one bar to four. And, you know, if you have like, um, you know, I did a speed test. And a speed test where I was at without it, it was um, the up was about 0.1 megabytes, not even one megabyte. And um, um, down was about, you know, 0.2 megabytes. 
But, you know, there's other things. You know, um, what is the um, latency? Because if it takes a long time between when you send a packet and when the server says it's received it, send another. You know, if the latency is like more than like 50 to 100 milliseconds, it's like, pff, good luck. So, yeah, once we hooked up the WeBoost, and now we have an antenna that's um, up on the top. And um, it went from one bar to four bars, yep. and we were good with video and the whole thing. So then we were mm -hmm. happy campers. So it, it's an investment, but it depends if, you know, communications is important where you go. So anyway, that's something that is that we bought it. What and song were you singing when you gave that to me? I forget. If you want to be happy for, for the, the rest, rest of your life, <laughs> make a no. pretty woman your wife. Right. Ha happy, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> but there's the other side of it. We affectionately call this i think most people do the hershey bar the this bar. is the yeah the candy bar the retransmitter so you put your cell phone next to it within about three to six inches or your ipad or your whatever laptop. it is your laptop and then it retransmits the signal gives more power so and then what paul you're saying about like having a bigger table this is one we started with so over on the side you can, we'll get into what this All red right. cord is in a second but we do have a, a, a more serious you know if we're like say oh out RVing with other people and we have a bunch of stuff on the table it was a potluck mm -hmm. or something like yeah. that it's and it, it slips right in that area just so it's like meant for it and yeah. then Grace tell us about the red cord that red cord is what I lovingly call saving Mr. Kaliki's life so we were down in um, Lancaster down, yes, down it was. At the poppy grove. The, the super bloom. Yeah, the super bloom. Antelope. Antelope super bloom. Um, and we went around the corner a little too fast, and we heard this loud poof. And one of the, the middle drawer had literally, no, it wasn't the, it was the top one. The big I think it was one. the top one, yeah. yeah the one it, you can just barely see and here. And it flew out. And thank mm -hmm. God our dog wasn't it, there. It went about three feet splatted yeah. on. Cause Pots what, and pans. Grace has, you know, like these iron... <laughs> Um, skillets and things in there. I don't there. have iron skillets. <laughs> well, so it might be gold or silver. It's something heavy, darling. <laughs> Pots and pans. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, um, she put straps across those, and um, it's not like we're into bondage or things like that. <laughs> so is that like a marine sink that you have, or you lift it up, you lift the tap faucet part up? Yeah. Is that it, what I'm exactly. seeing? Exactly. Yeah, okay. exactly. So it... Um, this um, part there is the faucet. And, and now I know Grace is going to tell that story, Paul. I'm going to be busted on this one. But this area you see here, it does um, lift up. And then mm -hmm. this faucet, then it lifts up too. And then over on the side is, um, it's a Dometic, uh, is where the handle is to um, control how much water pressure you want, Grace. Yes, this faucet right here is what we call a tip and tricks do not do. Because <laughs> this little handle that turns on the water um, was falling off, basically. And for, I don't know, six to eight months, maybe, my husband thought a rubber band was a great solution. <laughs> and every, every Elastic time I, band, darling. I, rubber band. And every time I would <laughs> turn it, you know, it would decide to pop. And I'd take a shower. So we didn't need a shower because the sink was giving me one every time I cooked. So <laughs> when we went on our um, 90 days around the USA trip, we got as far as Nevada when I sat down and told him I wasn't cooking anymore until he fixed it. No moss. <laughs> no more meals. No moss until you fix this. Because I had bought, I think it was yeah, $90. Had. And I thought, you know, I'll put it in one of these days. Yeah. You know, what? Is what do you call it? A round to it? Get a round to it, yeah. <laughs> yeah one so, of these days. How do you run the water through? Hand pump, foot pump, power? It's powered. It's part of it's one of those things on the 12-volt system. You know, we have the mm -hmm. fantastic fan. I replaced that one up above. And so um, the um, refrigerator runs off of gas or 112 volts, uh, but not the 20 or 12 volt system. But yeah, so we have like the fans and things are a 12 volt system. And um, so we have some, our lights are a 12 volt system on the mm -hmm. inside. And then this also, yeah, is a 12 volter. All right, honey, let's take a sneak peek at the other things you've got, and then we're going to have to wrap it up. up. Okay, so let's see if I can um, get back here. And oh, there we go. There's a picture of our 
six volt batteries. So unlike Paula's, which there's red to red and red to black, ours is black to red because we're in series. So two sixers makes a 12. And the reason I've got this is that um, you want your batteries to last a while. So, you know, if you're, you know, like for several months, not going to be using them, um, I guess you can, you know, start up your RV or something, you know, probably should run your Onan generators once a month. But if you'll notice right here, the circled part of it is where um, I have two um, trickle chargers. And these are a really good company that makes them. But I, you know, these batteries are, I don't know, 150 a piece or whatever they were. So, you know, I would like them to last. So um, the NOCO Genius 5 model, they have different ones, but it has full sensing. It knows what to do. And um, so, at any rate, it's been um, really nice to know. And the way I've got it wired is that I've got this splitter. So that I, I just plug the 110 volts in, and then one output goes to this battery, and the other output goes to the other battery. You could have different configurations, of course, mm -hmm. to do this. But, you know, it See, is nice. See, and mine is kept topped up by my solar. Yeah. Oh, she's look at that. Did you hear that? She yeah. smiled when she said that. She's a smart cookie. She is. <laughs> Sorry. It's like the only thing I know, you guys. <laughs> no, no. This is good. I'm proud of it. It really, truly is because you did it. You want to know how and you did the research and you did yeah. it. So you have a lot to be proud of there. Yes. I was very scared, very scared, and I was trying to learn it. Well, but. This now I get thing. it. Like I can have a conversation about it, I and I and I get it. Listening. It would still be a good video for you to do, Paul. We'd love to see it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. just whether you do it on a live stream or whatever, but just to kind of say, you know, what are kind of the things you learned about how power works and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got to keep it rolling. Do I have any others here? Let's see. Oh gosh, I don't even know which one I was on there. Okay, yeah. dun 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 dun. That was it. So, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. so Paula, did you have anything else on tips and tricks that you have to share? You have any? No, favorite? no, no. <laughs> the only suggestion was, you know, you're already running your alternator when you're driving. You could have additional stored power. That's a, but that's it depends on how one. much power you're going to use because you have a good sized inverter. So as long as you have the power, you can run anything yeah. you want, except for air conditioning. Except the air conditioner heaters, right? And that's yeah, where you have to have the power of the generator. That is a lot better than what I was going to say. I was going to remind everybody to make sure that they close their vents before they started driving. Which <laughs> 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 is something I need to work on. How, how many items do you have on your list, Grace? 28. 28. Have, so every time we take off, I have a 28 checklist. You know, So I make mm -hmm. sure all the cabinets are closed, the refrigerator, make sure the fans are down. And then if we go out, like we stopped at Costco yesterday, and on our way home, or, you know, on our way home, we stopped at Costco, and so with Kaliki still in the RV, it was getting a little bit warm, so we opened up the fan, got back in, put the food, took off. Fortunately, you know, as we all know, is that when you put in a new fan, you know, that uh, make sure that it lifts up so that it um, opens, opens to, to the, back. the back, yeah, not to the exactly. front. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, live and learn, right? Yeah. So anyway, there are a lot of great um, YouTube videos on tricks, trip, <laughs> tricks, yeah. tips, tricks, hacks, mods, whatever you want to. And a couple of the sites besides the YouTube, um, this outdoorsy we saw when we did a Google search, it was one that comes up and they actually have them by category. Some of the things we've kind of spoken about. Right. Another great one was RVShare. .com. And RVShare is the one I've got um, yeah. up there. Oh, I guess it's not a main screen, but anyway, those are those couple others. So yeah, um, Paul, I hope you'll have more on your tips and tricks also that you've got <laughs> and things that you've done or what you want to do. You know, sometimes it's good to ask people on how to do things when you're not really sure. And so when you were doing your voltage, was it mostly friends that you use locally or uh, people online? Or how did you kind of come up to speed? I watched YouTube videos. Yeah, that's what we did a lot of, too. YouTube that's videos. all I did. I didn't awesome. talk to anyone in person because I don't know anyone here that does it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I had someone double check the system actually last week. But I've had that system up for almost a year. So, and the only thing I learned in there is to not hand tighten your nuts on the battery, get a tool and make sure she's really tight or else yeah. check it regularly. Yeah, not 
too much on some of them. You don't want to mm -hmm. strip, you know, like if you have a 12 inch breaker bar. Yeah, you don't want to use a but, torque. Um, torque. But, but straight right, to the battery it, posts, the stuff that I had on there. I didn't have it as tight as I could have, but I mean, other than that, everything was. Mm -hmm. good so i was happy <laughs> well if you have any things you have questions about on um the electronics or electric side of it you know my name is sparky when i was in high school and took electronics they called me sparky but i've <laughs> i know what not to do now so i'll be happy to help you if you ever have anything you have any questions on but you sound like you could be teaching us so thanks for sharing your great oh, ideas thanks <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us. And we thank you guys for being here as well. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you hit the thumbs up like. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. We'd love to see you. Thanks all for being there. And I see that it looks like Teresa might be here too, maybe with Mike too. So everybody, thanks again. Happy trails to you until bye -bye. we meet again. Peace out. Bye for now. Thanks, Paula. Thank see you. you. And okay.